Hey guys, Eric from PlayStation out here, and if you watched my previous video I released a while ago about um, rumors of the PSP2 or the um, rumors of Android coming to the PlayStation Portable, well, we got it. <laughs> we got it. Now, um, it's really been you know under the cover because it's not a PlayStation Portable. Um, it is in fact the brand new line in the Sony Ericsson phones. Now, as you can see from pictures next to me, the specs on this thing is really good. This will be running Android 3.0, also known as Gingerbread. Um, so, in a way, we are getting Android to the PSP. Now, the size of the screen isn't really known, but it ranges from 3.7 inches to 4.1 inches. And as you see from these pictures, you will have a fully fledged um, PSP Go style phone uh, with the screen on the top and the slide down pad on the bottom with um, the up left right down and the square circle X triangle buttons it will have the shoulder buttons and it will have the start the pause the select oh, or whatever buttons are there it will have those buttons um, it looks exactly like the PSP Go now with this phone having the um, PSP Go style keyboard um, there is one con and one pro. The con is you won't have a um, physical keyboard. It's probably all going to be on the um, the touch screen. So if you are not a fan of the iPhone's um, just touch screen or something along the lines of that and you want a physical keyboard, you might be out of luck. But the um, pro is with having these controls that you have that you see on the PSP Go plus running Android. Um, it is quite possible that we could be seeing an app store with the use of um, Android apps. So you could be, they could make Android apps usable with the new um, keyboard. So that is better than paying 40 bucks for a downloadable game. You could probably pay 5 or 10 bucks for a mini game um, that Android makes. So if you have an app store on your iPod Touch and you like those games, some of the developers will probably move over like they already have. They're making them for both platforms. But some of the, um, the developers will start making some of your favorite games into um, not just touchscreen, but with physical buttons. So that's something to also look forward to. Now getting into the geek stuff, it has 512 megabytes of RAM and 1 gigabyte of ROM. So you're dealing with a pretty fast system here. Now a difference between the Sony Ericsson, the PSP Go, or the previous PSPs is on the PSP there was a memory stick slot. This will be not be taking memory sticks at all. It is, since it's a phone, it will be taking micro SDs. So if you have previous files on um, the PSP Go, let's say, and you want to get the Sony Ericsson, you won't be able to transfer your data between systems. Now that could be a problem to some people, some people might not care. Um, but that is one thing that they traded in when they added all these new features. So the release date for this PlayStation phone is not quite known. Um, some people predicting the end of 2010, some people predicting any time in 2011. So you're thinking of relatively a one month to one year release date, which is really good. Um, considering we're learning about this now, um, to release in this year is um, really top notch. And... Um, we got everything we asked for. We wanted a camera. This is a phone now, so it has a camera, which is what we wanted. It has Android, so it has a more complex operating system than um, what Sony or what uh, PlayStation has right now on the PSPs. So we'll be seeing a more complex operating system, um, So which means the phone is going to be more powerful. Um, it also is touchscreen, multi-touch by the way. So everything that we asked for, we got. So I think Sony really, um, they surprised me, and um, I am really impressed by what they did. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I will keep you guys up to date on all the new things coming out or new um, things mentioned about the PlayStation phone. Um, this is going to be a Sony Ericsson, and um, you can stay tuned for more. That's pretty much it. All right, guys, I'm Eric from PlayStation Now, and I'll catch you later.